Institute of Professional Studies, Dehradun. On the behalf of Gyani Nursing Institute of Professional Studies, Dehradun, I welcome you all on in e-learning classes. Today, my topic is sonication, elaborating the principal working and construction of ultrasonic bar sonicator. First of all, sonication is the process of applying sound energy to the liquid sample which result in the filtration or construction of unique laminar vesicle and disruption of bilayer membrane. This is the basic working or principle of sonication. So here the ultrasonic frequency is used or sound energy is applied in a liquid filled sample where the energy is first give applied to a particle and then it bounces. The energy is bounced to the walls of the apparatus and bounced back to the suspension. This all result into the agitation of the particle which result in the formation of unilaminal vesicle. In the laboratory use, ultrasonic bath sonicator is also used for the process of sonication. Ultrasonic bath sonicator is indirect method of sonication. Now here is the working of ultrasonic bath sonicator. This is ultrasonic also known as ultrasonic cleaner or ultrasonic bath sonicator made up of Toshcon company. It is made up of the whole body is made up of stainless steel. This apparatus contains a mesh for the installation of the sample and it contains a water bath to avoid the extreme heating which occurs as the bubble enters surface. This is the sample. I have put the sample in this and it is covered with the aluminium foil to avoid the evaporation of the solvent that is used for preparation of the sample. From here, the temperature is set accordingly and from here, the time is set. For example, for the preparation of nano suspension, we need three cycles of one minute, one per minute cycle of three minutes. From here, the uh, time is set and the plug is on and then we can start the sonication process. degassing the liquids, cell disruption or preparation of small unilaminar vesicle from multilaminar vesicles. It is also used to initiate crystallization and in nanotechnology it is used for evenly dispersing the nanoparticles in the liquid. Thank you for watching this video.